In historic Ybor City, Florida, Tabanero cigars are making stogies the old-fashioned way, and every tobacco leaf gets treated with loving care. Until, of course, it gets burned to a crisp. Hey, guys. Who am I talking to? Uh, my name is Steve. And you are? I'm Yanko. And this is? Tabanero Cigars, Best Tampa Cigars. What is a Tampa cigar, anyway, as opposed to just a regular cigar? Well, it's uh, Cuban artisans who are diplomat and experienced in making cigars. In Tampa, they keep it more like old school. Everything by hand, no machines. It's the finest tobaccos from Honduras, Nicaragua, Ecuador, the Dominican Republic, and Colombia. Is anybody using American tobacco, for God's sake? No, we have tried many times. When you put it to work, when you blend it, you put it in a cigar, and you light up the cigar. See, I'm standing right here, and I'm an American. I understand. Yanko, I'm looking over your shoulder, and I see you again in well, stereo. <laughs> well, uh, I, when I was a kid in Cuba, all the summers, I would get to go to my family in Pina del Rio. It was, so that's your family farm back there? Yes, sir. How long does it take to roll just one cigar? Five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. That quick? You yeah. must be very good. Yeah. Muy bueno. So, so. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Ah. <laughs> now, this is your husband right next to you. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my husband. Do you smoke cigars yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Do you only smoke ones that you roll? No, my husband got me. Oh, you trust his rolling too. <laughs> Cuban style, the cigar roller it tubes the leaf when she's doing the bunch. Tubing the leaf is, it will guarantee that the cigar is going to have a perfect draw. When you're dealing with such a thick uh, cigar, if, you, if the cigar is too spongy, every time you puff, it's going to get really hot. Uh, if it's too tight, if it has a lot of tobacco, uh, it will give you a headache. So it's pretty. You want a smooth smoke. Can I just say it, it smells really good to stand next to you guys? <laughs> You know? Yeah, we take showers every morning. <laughs> no, I mean the cigars. The, the aroma. Well, to, this, is, this is cigar tobacco, and it's raised in volcanic soil under optimum growing conditions. And unlike a cigarette, which is full of chemicals, the handmade cigar is nothing but aged, cured, fine tobacco. What should a good cigar make you feel like? Satisfied. Peaceful? Yes, yes. It lowers your blood pressure. It uh, allows you to reflect in life. This is a ritual. You have to have the right tools, the right cutter, the right ambient. The right hat. The right hat. It tastes even better with a nice hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some good Cuban coffee, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, and we have the best Cuban coffee here at Tampa. You serve coffee too. 12 hours a day. Nicotine and caffeine, you got it covered. That's why everyone's happy here. Oh, oh. Please do not touch the cigars. These cigars in these towers are drying. When a cigar is freshly made... It's wet. Exactly. The binder leaf and the final wrapper have to be damped to roll on the bunch. And then after 19 days of drying, they're they going go to go right in over here. the main humidor. So this room is kept at 70 degrees, but 70% humidity. How long does it stay in here before it's ready to be sold? Another 90 days after 19 days of drying. It's like a fine wine. You gotta give it time. Exactly. How many different types of cigars do you make? We make 14 different styles of cigars. Including Big Daddy. Including the Big Daddy. The Big Daddy is a 60 gauge by six and a half inch cigar. It's a fuller blend cigar, meaning it's a stronger cigar. Make you dizzy, maybe. If you're not used to it, yes. You think I could handle a Big Daddy? No. No, we're going to have to get you a little baby Corona. Steve, if somebody wants to sample a Tabanero cigar, where should they go? Ybor City, East Tampa. Size doesn't really matter, does it? Only in some things. <laughs>